Hi, my name is Justin Campbell. I'm a postdoctoral scientist with the Smithsonian Marine Station in Fort Pierce, Florida. And I'm here at Caribou Cay in Belize studying how herbivores influence the structure and function of tropical seagrass beds. Caribou Cay is a special place to conduct research because it offers an unparalleled experience and access to the marine environment. Recently I've been working on seagrasses, which are marine plants that cover vast spatial areas across uh, different regions over the globe. Seagrasses are important because they provide a lot of services that are critical for the health of our coastal environments. They provide a uh, food resource for many fish and invertebrates. They provide sediment stabilization, nutrient cycling. Um, they also provide shoreline protection. And so they're really important um, in order to maintain the health of a lot of our coastal ecosystems. I became interested in seagrasses through a lot of my graduate work at Florida International University in Miami. I was involved in a lot of work with Dr. Jim Forkerman, who studies spatial coverage of seagrasses in Florida Bay and across the Florida Keys. And as I began to become more involved in a lot of his work, I really began to appreciate the role that they play in providing a lot of ecosystem services that we often find important. Comparative research is really interesting and powerful because it allows us to compare responses across very distinct seagrass beds or very distinct coral reefs across large spatial areas. One of the coolest experiences that I've had working as a marine biologist is simply being able to come to these remote locations and study the organisms that I find really interesting. I, re I remember coming here in August and actually heading out on a night dive on the coral reef. And it was one of my first experiences going night diving and it's just amazing at the diversity of life and the different life that you see that comes out at night. And uh, that's probably one of the most amazing experiences I've had as a marine scientist. Mm -hmm. 